There's a woman named Melody Lauer in uh, Iowa. She's a concerned mom, and she saw that recently a two-year-old in Idaho had shot uh, her, her mom accidentally, of course, and, and that really touched her. And she said, uh, quote, that touched me in a very deep way because my daughter was two at the time. I thought there's no reason this should happen. We are adults and can be responsible. Well, that sounds great. I totally agree. I have a two-year-old as well. It touched me deeply, too. I thought that's why you shouldn't have guns around babies. Apparently, Melody did not come to the same conclusion. She came to the opposite conclusion. She says, quote, or Ross Lurie explains, so Lauer decided to take the adult and responsible step of teaching parents how to carry their babies and their guns at the same time. She came up with a whole class. It's called Baby Wearing and Carrying. Carrying is in guns. Um, she explains why she did this and how responsible she is. Look, she's taken an NRA course on how to handle her weapon, so she must be an expert. Um, and she also uh, teaches childbirth, baby wearing, breastfeeding classes, and how to shoot your baby. No, no, how to make sure your babies don't get shot while you're holding a gun incredibly close to them. She explains, I've co-slept with my babies, I've been wearing my babies, I've loved them, and I've worn a gun the whole time. You are a maniac. I am deathly afraid for your kids, and I think there's an excellent case to be made that they should be taken away from you. Um, we get mental in this country about people smoking or drinking while they're pregnant, and those are incredibly important points. We should be concerned about those things because they might endanger the fetus and then eventually the baby. <laughs> We're not as concerned that there's a lethal weapon right next to them. See, we're human beings, we make mistakes. You think the lady who got shot by her baby in Idaho wanted to get shot? You think, oh no, I'm better than her. I'm, I wouldn't make that mistake. We're humans, we make mistakes. You might get it right 99 out of 100 times, but you got the gun and the baby next to each other 365 days of the year. You, all it takes is one mistake, either for you to get shot or much worse, for the baby to get shot. It is deeply irresponsible, it is maniacal. And then she has this class, dozens of moms have showed up, or a dozen moms showed up, a couple of dads showed up. She says she's out of space and she's gotta create more classes for this, because it's going so well in Iowa. Uh, and she gives such uh, cogent advice as, well, don't keep your gun unguarded in a drawer that the kids can reach. Oh, okay, oh, well, I didn't know you were gonna give great advice like that, I wouldn't have figured that out myself. And here's another gem from her, quote, if you have baby on one side, it's best to have the gun on the other side. My <laughs> mistake, my bad, man. I thought that this car class was worthless. I didn't know you were gonna be that smart and give such amazing advice. Remember, the gun should be just a couple of inches away on the other side of your body when you're holding your baby. You see, you gotta understand something. We don't hate you. We're trying to help you. I don't want your baby getting shot. You think you're superhuman, you think you took an NRA class and you're never gonna make a mistake. I know otherwise. Facts indicate otherwise. We've covered dozens, maybe hundreds of stories where people get accidentally shot. People who were trained up the gazoo and they were all positive that they were just right and couldn't make a mistake and they made a mistake and somebody got shot. And it's usually family members. Don't put a gun next to a baby. <laughs> but unbelievably, in this country, among the political establishment, not among the actual voters, we have overwhelming agreement that we should have some gun control. Tiny little bit of gun control in the country, but our political establishment will not give it to us. But among the political establishment, they think I'm the crazy one. <laughs> oh, this guy, what a crazy liberal. He wouldn't put the barrel of a gun right next to a baby's head. Cuckoo. The rest of the world must think we're absolutely nuts because on this issue, we are.